Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. Hey guys, apologies for being gone for so long. It's been a busy few weeks. I just wanted to take some time to talk about The Boys Season 4 so far and kind of the directionless matter it's got going on. Now, that's not exactly the full description of what's going on. There has been some direction, sort of, but when in comparison to seasons like 1, 2, and 3, the fourth season really seems like it's trying to figure out what it wants to do, or it's just kind of filling in the gap before it gets to season five. Because each season has had a pretty coherent plot throughout. The first season was about becoming one of the boys and getting introduced to everything that Vought did. And the second season was about Butcher trying to get his wife and son back, amongst all the other events happening with Vought and the exposure of Compound V. Three was about Soldier Boy and trying to have him kill Homelander all the while, trying to deal with the aftermath of the loss of Butcher's wife and trying to raise the kid. Season four did have some threads here, like Homelander raising Ryan and that sort of discrepancy between Ryan still holding the good values his mom has, but then being basically fathered by a complete psychopath. But then that's kind of it, because after that, it's been just kind of random drop of depression and PTSD and character guilt. Like we have that going on with Butcher just having the ability to see his dead wife because of all the compound V shit that he took or the temp V. Uh, then we've got Frenchie. Who, by the way, everyone who's getting fucking butthurt about him being, like, bi, it's been established. It's been long established. For any of you who are like, oh, it's just happening now, it's like, no, no, no. Guys, like, you basically were told throughout that he's basically fucked anything that moves. And this relationship, however, did seem more so set to just turn out to be something for him to feel sad about. I like kind of the background implication that this was a person whose family he had killed and he was thrown into this with good intentions of liking the guy, but obviously having all that guilt on his own character for what happened, but then it kind of just was like nothing. Like maybe it might turn into something, but I really don't see how it could because it was predictable all the way through. We also had Kamiko going through her own guilt because someone from the shining light is back and it's kind of just there she all of a sudden wanted to slam a bunch of beers because she saw something about child soldiers and then all of a sudden shining light child soldier pass appears and that still hasn't really kind of come to fruition and then huey's got his dad who just had a stroke that was something a little bit interesting. It didn't immediately get there until the end of the fourth episode. Huey was realizing that you need to let go, like that sometimes these are things that just have to happen. And I'll admit that I thought it was quite interesting that they had paid Simon Pegg for four episodes to essentially sleep in a bed. It's like, man, that's the easiest, cushiest job this guy's ever had. Until you see that his mom, which by the way, Huey's mom has reappeared and that actually was probably some of the more realistic dialogue that they had. I thought that was okay. His mom coming back was kind of a human element too. And then all of a sudden she injects Huey's dad with Compound V. And that's how the episode ended. So I was like, oh, okay. And then speaking of Compound V, Butcher is not entirely out of the gates yet. Well, I mean, I guess through the gates, I should say. Something happened with this worm thing, which has been grossly shown for the last little while. And he went blackout and he tore apart the creepy extendo Jesus guy. It gave you a little ooh at the end of that. But really, we still don't have a thread. We have these little elements like Homelander going through his own midlife crisis and kind of having this break of character and thinking that he could go back to where he was created and basically killing people, torturing them slowly. But he's still after the approval of Ryan, and Ryan doesn't really want to be like him. And sure, there was also that funny bit where we found out that a lot of Soup's saves are not real, that they have call sheets. I thought that was really funny, considering what I uh, used to do when I worked in film. Again, like there's all these little threads that really don't seem to have a connective tissue. They don't seem to be leading towards anything. The only real thread we have is Sister Sage, who is the supposed smartest person on the planet, and how she is doing what Homelander wants her to do, but at the same time being able to be 20, 
thousand steps ahead of everyone else and she's giving herself a platform against starlight she is still here but again i'm kind of waiting to see what happens and the fact that we're halfway through this season and you could really say that there's been maybe 10 minutes of concrete story over four episodes that's a little not great especially when you think about just the caliber of the last seasons not to say that the shooting hasn't been good not to say that the acting hasn't been good not to say that the production design hasn't been good it's all been great it's just the writing the writing's weird like there just doesn't seem to be a purpose yet and i'm hoping that that appears in the next four episodes still really good humor still really good gore still really good effects it really feels like it doesn't have a direction yet and i'm really hoping that that figures itself out soon because i don't know after watching gen v and thinking it was pretty decent considering it was a shot in the dark sort of spinoff i don't know what they're gonna do with this obviously season five has been approved and we'll see the end of the story eventually but i don't know it's a little weird. I, I, I'm finding it very surprising just how slow things are moving. Those are my thoughts. I'm not going to get a review yet until the season is done, but I know some of you guys have been asking about it, so I wanted to just give my thoughts. So very interested to see what you guys have to say. Are you enjoying the season so far? What do you not like about the season? What do you do like about the season? For those of you who don't like what's going on, what do you think they could do better? because that's something that I'm kind of having an issue with myself is there are some interesting stories going on here, but there's nothing really connecting any of them. Like there needs to be more than just, ooh, grief. Let's get some connective tissue. Let's get some narrative cohesion going here. But anyways, guys, those are my thoughts. Very curious to see what you guys have to say. If you like this video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.